it's London. So I've been advised, this is everything that's gone on. We've put the cubicles in, we've put everything in. Nails, concrete, I've been advised to scrape it or weed it off or brush it. Who better to ring than the man himself? Mr. Pete Marquis. I just gave him a text last night. I was like, oh, cows could be coming in on Friday. He has any time to come in the morning and he's on his way. And he's just going to sweep this side out and he's going to sweep that side out for me. Which is just amazing. A big thanks to Pete. Lastminute.com, classic top. If you have not already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, ring little bell, you get notifications of my videos every Tuesday, Friday, and sometimes we do the Sunday video. Today is the day! It is today, it's happening. You see, we've bedded up our cow shed, we've got everything ready, we've had to make gates with um, fences for now because we don't really know what we're doing. Oh, I've got a bit of a surprise for you as well. We've got a brand new cow brush, I'll explain about that later. Look, hey, look at this, this is the peak and the peak of brushes. We have, we have gone for it. It's been for 90 seconds one way and then 90 seconds the other way. We got it from Wilson's Agri. Uh, absolutely amazing, great company. Same company we got our water troughs with. Oh, yeah. See how level that is. I'd love to say I did a good job, but Mark drilled the holes for me and I just followed after that. What happens with these water troughs is the fast releasing water troughs. And you lift it up and it cleans out completely. The cows can't get it. If they lick it, it just goes to there. You've got to lick it and lick it up. So the chances of doing that is minimal. The easy fix cubicles are in. We've got no food yet. You see that I keep walking down here. This rubber is super duper comfy. We have another water trough there. Yeah, we're ready. Luke, Alf, Joanna, ginger guy, got no hair. Is he? And we're ready to put some cows in, I think. Cows aren't going to go in that bit, are they? Oh yeah, through there. No, in this little bit. No, no, no. Nope, yeah, that's where I'm going. <laughs> Do you want to scare the cows? <laughs> Good, Ed. Yeah. Slender. It's gonna be exciting. The first time we've ever used the feeder. To see if the cows can find food. Cows are in. Well, there's actually a couple too many in. We were vetting this morning, so all my vetting cows I put into the back shed as well and put into here. So what we'll do is we'll take a few out and then we'll put it into the back shed and then we'll be able to fit them 
all the cows in both sheds. Um, and that one would actually right now will be understocked. We had a bit of an audience. Joanna, Luke, my mate Sandy, whoop, whoop. ginger guy, Alf, my mother, and the office lady came just to see my cows. The easy fit feed rails are looking fantastic. The brush. Oh, this guy. She was playing on it. She was giving it some beans. We haven't had one sit down, which we probably won't till tonight, but me and Joe are actually going to my brother-in-law's 30th birthday in the lakes tonight. So that's why I'm in a bit of a rush. Milking's actually in about an hour. So they're probably not going to get much out of it. I was a bit worried because all the cows um, were eating those few that couldn't, but it looks like, like I say, I've got a couple of too many in here. So we'll pick those out and put them to the back shed. What we'll have is the ones that are freshly carved, the ones that need all the energy will come into this for lots of space, and the ones that don't need as much energy will go in the back shed. Because the back shed used to be our best shed, now it's our second best shed, and this one is now our best shed. Look, you can make life as easy as possible, take it four inches higher, make it like a glass finish, and they will still try and eat out the king. I'm gonna come back to this video in a day or two, see how they've settled and see how they're doing. But they seem really happy. Channels are in. Water troughs, no one's drunk out of the water troughs yet. <laughs> They're all in. I'll tell you what, that's not a bad morning, is it? We are back! That video was actually filmed up three weeks ago. I've been keeping it secret from Snapchat and Instagram and all my social medias like the whole time. And there is so much that's happened the last three weeks that's in my family group chat. So if you follow me in there, I'm gonna put it in because there's a lot, some funny stuff happened and some really cool stuff happened. That video was in such a rush. The weather had changed and it was absolutely horrific that day. I was meant to be somewhere at about one o'clock. It was getting to half two, three o'clock before we got them in. I was late. Dad was rushing, I was rushing. Obviously, I am super duper excited. This is absolutely amazing. Now, look at the shed, it's fantastic. Uh, but like, I wanted to do the whole video of all the cows being in, but I'm not gonna lie, last three weeks has been amazing. Have them here, hey look. Someone crossed this really fast. Cows can't get, open it up, and there's a little nodule, and then it just releases super fast. It's a great way to keep them nice and clean. Got them from Agri Wilson. The Cowboys, we didn't even talk about it. This is super exciting. This is like top of the range. Can't get any better, I don't think. The cows have definitely used it. I don't know if you remember when it first got put in. It was a nice blue color. Now, it's a little bit dark. I was a little bit deflated when we first decided we were gonna put cows in because I wanted to do it all at once. But the way of the world, some things you can't do always the way you want to do it. And we had them in this side and it has been amazing having them in this side in the back shed. Our oh, back shed used to be the best shed. Now this is the best shed, it's fantastic. The rubber in front of the cow's feet there, that's gone down a treat. These cubicles here are just amazing. Like look how comfy the cows are. All sat in great positions. Maybe that one's a little bit far this way, but on the majority, they're comfy. There's a cow here, so you can see that. So she's pressed up on this. It's not making her uncomfortable on her back. She's super comfy, and I'm super happy. The other thing that we have done since then, we've put rubbers on this drinker, and I'm not saying that works, but there's not one cow drinking from that trough, and there's currently three cows drinking from this trough, supping it, so it's absolutely amazing. It has been awesome, and yes, we've not finished yet. This is not the complete story. We've got the other side to do. We are gonna film the other side, but we are nearly there. And I'd like to say a massive thank you to everyone who's watched my YouTube channel, everyone who's done that, even social media. It's been fantastic, it's been amazing. I wouldn't be able to do this without it. Yes, I still have a massive bill to pay <laughs> very, very soon, but we are getting there. I just want it on YouTube as everything as one cows go in. Before we do get the cows in the other side, what I'm gonna do is a chat around everything we've done and how we've made cow comfort our main priority with this whole shed. And hopefully that will increase everything else about the cows. If we make them comfortable, they'll be happy to do everything, produce milk, getting car, feet, legs, everything. That's the plan. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. I appreciate it so much. TP Merch is gonna go back live first week in December. Yes, I'm sporting a bit of a mustache. Movember, try and do my little bit, just show awareness. People are saying I look like dad loads. I mean, look at this, she is a big girl. Pushing on that cubicle, no problem. When she stands up, it just flexes back. Cows are in, they're happy, and secondly, Let's get that other side complete. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. It means the world to me. We'll see you in the next one. See you guys. Bye.